Want to quickly start an LLC in Georgia for free? I'll help you do just that in this step-by-step -step tutorial. I'll make sure to cover any critical requirements and important tricks that you should not miss when forming your LLC. Then also as a bonus, later on in the video, I'll show you a trustworthy registered agent who will set up your LLC for free and save you the time and hassle. So make sure to stick with me until the end. Let's first take a look at the steps required for forming an LLC by yourself. Step 1. Name your business. Before anything else, you'll have to think of the LLC's legal business name. Each LLC in Georgia must have a distinct LLC name that is not currently in use. You must include the terms Limited Liability Company or an abbreviation such as LLC. You cannot include phrases such as Corporation, which would lead people to believe you are a different business type. Finding out if your business name has been taken or not is very easy. Simply go to Google and type in the words Business Entity Records, Georgia Secretary of State, and click the first search result. I'll also leave the link in the description below for your convenience. It will lead you to the official page of Business Entity Records in Georgia. Scroll down a little and you will see some search options which makes checking the availability of your business name easier. Generally, you can click the first option, Entity Name, and type in your business name. For example, I'm typing a very common business name here, A1 Cleaning Service, which will give you a list of existing business names. A unique business name will say no matches found, just like this random name I typed in. The Secretary of State must reserve the LLC's trade name before filing. Name reservations are a one-of-a-kind requirement, and Georgia is one of the only states that mandates them, which will unfortunately add an extra step to the usual process. You can make a name reservation for $25, and this reserved name lasts up to 30 days from the acceptance date of the application, with a usual processing time of around one week by completing the Georgia LLC name reservation request form by going to this link. Don't worry, I'll also have this link down in the description below. You can click the document link, download the PDF file, fill it out, print it, and mail it to the Office of Secretary of State Corporations Division. Step 2. Get a registered agent. Georgia requires LLCs to have a registered agent. An agent has a physical address, as P.O. Box is not allowed, and is available during normal business hours. This agent will serve as the LLC's primary point of contact for receiving key legal papers, tax warnings, summons, subpoenas, and so on. You or someone in your company can become this registered agent. However, I highly recommend you utilize a professional registered agent, as they have much more knowledge of protecting your company in cases of possible issues, like problems concerning court schedules, or filing reports with the Secretary of State, etc. Besides, hiring a professional registered agent is very affordable these days. In fact, an honest and reliable company I recommend, Inkfile, offers a free registered agent as part of their package when you form your LLC through them, but I'll talk more on this later in the video. Step 3. Filing the Georgia LLC Certificate of Formation The next step requires you to file the Certificate of Formation with the Georgia Secretary of State. The Georgia State filing cost for LLC is $100, with the option of online application or through mail to the Secretary of State. You would have to download and print this document from their official website, making sure you read all the requirements carefully so your form gets accepted when physically mailing it through. This whole process should take between 12 to 15 business days. Step 4. Preparing an Operating Agreement Now, an operating agreement is a good idea to have in place with the other members if your LLC has more than one member, although a limited liability company operating agreement is not required for Georgia. Your operating agreement should clarify how your company or business will handle big picture issues. These include the transfer of membership interest, profits, losses, and distributions, initial investments, decision-making powers, voting rights, team management, and lastly, dissolving the business. Step 5. Obtain an EIN Next, we need to get an EIN for your LLC. An EIN, or Employer Identification Number, is a federal tax ID issued by the IRS to your company. Your EIN is used by the IRS to readily identify your firm on tax filings. All Georgia firms pay a business privilege tax, and the state requires you to have an EIN to file. You may also be required to provide your EIN when opening a bank account or applying for municipal permits or licenses. Obtaining an EIN is a slightly longer process compared to the previous steps. I'm sure you know, anything to do with the IRS is confusing and tedious. First, you have to have complete knowledge of your LLC, such as your company information, managing member information, business address, business information, company details, and even the critical information regarding vehicular assets and federal excise taxes. This is another reason why getting a professional registered agent is way more convenient, as they can do this for you as part of their service. And Inkfile, the service I recommend above, is one of the best companies out there to help you form your Georgia LLC. You can click on the link in the description or type this into your browser to get access to this package. 
Inkfile is one of a kind, as it offers a free silver package with services such as preparing and filing your articles of organization. Well, you still have to pay $100 for the state fees, which you would have to do anyway if you chose the DIY option. But looking at the bigger picture, all other companies will still charge for their service fee on top of state filing fees, but Inkfile does not collect this fee. This plan already includes a free registered agent for your first year of subscription and $119 annually moving forward if you decide to continue the service after the first year. However, Inkfile's gold package is the one I would recommend to everyone as it will save you a lot of time and hassle. For an extra small fee, Inkfile will obtain your EIN business tax number and create an operating agreement which will eliminate the overall steps 4 and 5 from above. Now, if you are in a hurry and require expedited filings, or you want to have a domain name with a business email address, then their platinum package is also worth considering. Otherwise, I would stick with a gold package. Now, I want to guide you on the next step to take when starting your LLC, so if you've chosen the DIY option, then I recommend you check out this video, which will help you pick the best bank accounts for your business to avoid cunning funds and piercing the corporate veil. But if you've chosen option 2 of using a professional for information service, but want more information on Inkfile, then check out this video, where I have done an in-depth tutorial and review on them. So check it out, and I'll see you over in that next video.